Hey guys, how you doing? My name is TJ, and in this video, I'm gonna continue our conversation about coding boot camps for those that are interested in attending them. And I'm gonna give you the three keys that you can do that will set you up for a successful boot camp experience. As always, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already so that I can keep making videos like this for you. Since I've actually attended a coding boot camp, and I also tutor coding bootcamp students while they were attending their bootcamps. I can speak confidently about the things that I see successful bootcamp students doing and share those tips with you to help you prepare for that journey as well. So here we go. These are the three things that you should do before starting your coding bootcamp journey. Tip number one, start studying web development basics. Web development basics are HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Most boot camps nowadays are teaching web development, so to make sure that you get the best use out of your time in the boot camp, make sure that you start studying web development basics before the boot camp even begins. The best online interactive tutorial that I would recommend to you, and which is one that I actually use to teach my students web development basics as well, is Codecademy. It's free and you can get started right away. So make sure to do the HTML, CSS, and JavaScript tutorials on Codecademy to, to help you prepare for your bootcamp journey. So once you finish learning web development basics, you can then start working on the two React.js tutorials that Codecademy offers as well. If your bootcamp isn't teaching you React.js, then you might want to do a bit more research on the job market in terms of what they're actually teaching you on the front end because React.js is the most dominant front end library when it comes to job searching right now. So your bootcamp should be teaching you that. Anyways, tip number two, start networking now. You do not and should not wait until you finish the coding bootcamp to start networking or to start letting people know that you're interested in software engineering jobs. You should be doing that now. Because of COVID right now, the best way that I would recommend that you actually network is that you go to meetup.com and you search a bunch of different uh, web dev, JavaScript, learn to code meetups in your area and join them and start engaging, start interacting, asking questions, just so that people start to get familiar with you and kind of start to learn more about you, what you're doing and what you're learning. This is a good way to kind of network from the comfort of your own home, really. Remember, the best time to network with people is before you need anything from them. Now, the third and final tip, find an accountability partner and start doing weekly check-ins with them on your journey to learning how to code. You can schedule weekly check-ins with your accountability partners and discuss what you learned the previous week, what you plan on learning next week. That way, they can actually help you to stay on top of your goals and provide insight anytime that you might need. Now, even if this person is not technical at all, they can still serve as your accountability partner because the main goal is to hold you accountable and to do weekly check-ins with you to make sure that you're actually doing the work to achieve the goals that you guys set together. And that's it. I promise you, if you do those three before attending a boot camp, you will be in great shape to have a successful coding boot camp experience and possibly speed up the job search process for yourself. So again, before starting your coding boot camp, Make sure that you start studying web development basics by doing online interactive tutorials. Make sure that you start networking now by joining online tech groups and interacting and engaging with people on there. And make sure that you find an accountability partner that you do weekly check-ins with. 